Hi, water signs. Welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. It's so glad to be back. The sale is still going on. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, just clearing out the energy. It's been really, really strong here. Um, of course, I've already meditated. I prayed here. Took some time out for everything before I got into it. Right? I'm here to help. This is a Mercury reading. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's all around your, based around your communication, the communication coming in, the communication going out, the communication being delivered. What's going on? And Mercury right now is sitting in Pisces. So, and Pisces being the oldest sign in the tarot. I mean, in the astrology here. So, it carries a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of runner chaser energy as well here. A lot of emotions as well. <laughs> a lot of emotions here. Um, but it's all around your communication. We're going to head straight into prayer. Of course, I've already pulled your reading to die down some time here. So... I'd like to take this time to thank the universe for the love, for the light, for the balance, for the protection, for the the clarity, the opportunity, the breath of the breath of fresh air. We'd like to ask the universe for protection, for balance, for clarity, more insight, and a brand new start. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. That felt real good. Oh, and I usually don't do this, but the song, when I was pulling your cards, Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the song that came to me was um, that Ashanti song, um, Thank You. I just want to say that I'm thankful for having you in my life. I want to say thank you. say thank you for being in my life I want to say thank you and I miss you and I wish you were here with me saying thank you and I love you for being in my life oh my goodness What's so crazy about that is I used to sing that to my sister all the time. And when my my um my grandmother passed away, I always wanted to go. I always I had a dream of going into a church and saying that in her honor. <laughs> and when I was playing your spread, it was so beautiful. I love that song. So thank you for the energy, Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The overall energy around you guys. The car came out, which I am pulling it from the WoW Offering deck. And the car that came out was divine timing. This is God's time. God's plan. God's plan. I feel good sometimes I don't. Hey. Oh, goodness. Okay. The divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. And my nephew, me and my nephew were talking this morning. And he was like, was I born too early? And I was like, yeah, you were born early, but you were born on God's time. That's the only thing that's important. That's it. All right, you were born when God wanted you to come through with the come through, baby. Anyway, Cancer, we're starting with you. Hi, Cancer. How you doing, boo? <laughs> the overall card that came out here was the sun. Could be dealing with the Leo here, but this is most definitely trying to stay positive coming out, okay? Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself, knowing that you can get to the next step. But this is all based around your communication and the communication coming in, right? So this is very positive communication, being that leader here, speaking your truth. I did pull it out of the angel deck. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, some of you are getting some rest. Some of you are putting things on hold here, Cancer. What's up with the what's up, boo? 
and I'm clarifying with the tell me Terry. Yeah, some of you are like, look, I ain't dealing with none of that. What you got going on, what she got going on, what they got going on, you can leave it over there, boo. Okay. <laughs> but it's real positive. There's a new cycle coming in. There's a new cycle. Hey, hey. There's a new cycle. There's a new cycle. Hey, hey. Can't say psycho with your crap baby self. <laughs> I got a cancer texting me telling me I'm a crybaby. I might be a crybaby, but you a crybaby too. Boo. What's up? But anyway, this is positive. Get some sleep. Some of you need to get some sleep here. Some of you are like kind of stressing yourself out when it comes to your communication and what you want to say here. But if you get some sleep and you meditate and you pray, you'll know what to say. The words will flow like water, baby. Yes, because there's a new beginning here if it hasn't already started. If you haven't already seen these things start to blossom here, they're coming out. I want to say some of you are dealing with the Leo or Sagittarius. But yeah, a new dawn, a new day. Isn't that how it go? Look at that. You go to Sagittarius here. You could be bringing in some peace and some harmony. That is beautiful, Cassa. Um, um, someone could be passing, but, or something is passing, okay? There could have been some dark times here, but the light is coming. Let's say that. Because there's new life here. There's new life. New ideas. There's new things that you're doing here. There is new, 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 new. No, no. Trust your dreams and trust your intuitions and get your, your mind, body, and soul together. That's what I was saying. Go into prayer before you speak your truth. Make sure everybody is on one accord. And when I say this, you can't get everybody together. But if you go into prayer, if you meditate and you come out with the right words, baby, you could straighten up a whole room. Cancer, you're a really good friend, Okay. You, you do a lot for people here. You are like the mother. You're, you're that caring person here. You, there's angels here that's helping, that will help you communicate. Okay? Call on your angels. Call on your spirits. Call on your guides here. Could also be dealing with the Pisces here. Um, you most definitely need to trust your intuition. There could be some secrets still that needs to be revealed because something is coming out. But when it comes out, you can still make it positive. If something's ending because there's a new because there is a new cycle here. But you pray for it in a sense, okay? The answer is not yet available as matters are still unclear. Sometimes reflect secrecy and mystic, you know, mysterious, you know, just things are okay. After the storm, the sun shines. Okay? But you have to believe that. You have to stay in this positive aura you know what i was just saying this okay if you you can have so much negativity around you people being real negative around you oh this ain't gonna never work this ain't gonna never you be like, ah, ah, ah. hold on after the storm comes the sun so it will work after this, whatever, whatever got going on, we got going on here, as this ends, after that's over, I'm picking myself up and I'm, I'm going to bigger and better things. That's positive. And watch positive radiates in your life. Watch positive come out your, your mouth. Because, Cancer, you can soak. Like I said, I got a Cancer texting me telling me I'm a crybaby. You a crybaby, boo. Now, let's get some popcorn. We can cry together. <laughs> sorry okay there's change here there's a change in a relationship here you could be dealing with that what is this the will yeah you can most definitely be dealing with the pisces here or sagittarius but there's some creative things coming in your angels are here here it's time to put the negative it's time to let that wheel turn right and then negativity just slide on off most definitely could be dealing with the leo too yeah after the storm, it, there's light. After the storm, there's light. You, you probably can't see it right now. But let God, let the universe, let these angels bring it in. Because there's some information coming in that you'll love. Mm, if it ain't already came, boo. <laughs> 
and don't tell everybody okay keep it to yourself it's okay to keep it to yourself that is okay to keep certain accomplishments to yourself i was on live last night helping some people out and i wish i didn't say certain things could i yeah keep it to yourself baby keep it to yourself it's time to be the best you okay bottom of the day you most definitely could be dealing with the pisces and this pisces could be all in their feelings they could be let's see the bottom of the deck here true love that okay i just told you to keep it to yourself so i ain't gonna put your business on that like that the divine brings things in the in the timing that we need not necessarily when we want it but when we need it baby going to pull you some spiritual animals here spiritual animals can come in our dreams we can see these animals they all hold messages okay that's why i never like you know when people be like oh that's a snake kill it or killing animals uh-uh that's i'm just not a part of that group because they all have meaning they all have meaning everything happens for a reason everything happens at a time for a reason you just gotta let it flow let it flow let it flow everything is gonna work out right you know okay feeling real good right now baby real good <laughs> oh i don't think i did that oh yeah i did okay Oh, you have yak. The yak is spirit, strength, purity, and courage. Stay positive, okay? Stay positive. Plant these new seeds here. What do you want? Matter of fact, that's another way to tell the universe, like, like to let the universe know when you're ready, when you're speaking positive. Some of you could be all over the place, okay? But it's, 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 mm-hmm. Don't be sneaky. I know how you can be too, Cancer. Some of you can be real. <laughs> don't, don't, don't block your, your, um, your gifts. Don't block your gifts, baby. Trying to be somebody you're not. Oof. Moving too fast. It's okay to communicate in a beautiful light. It's okay to be positive. It's okay to shine and radiate. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. But don't be pretending, okay? Don't be out here trying to block people. Cancer, be yourself and be true to yourself and speak the truth, okay? Work on your, your, your mental chakra, your crown chakra, work on your third eye. Get your, your solar plexor together. Get your hair together. Some of you need to wash your hair. Get rid of this fear here. Work on your heart chakra. Okay. Um, is your crown and your third eye. Meditation, breathing, practice some yoga, walking here. Um, what else did I say? Your solar plexra. Uh, ram... That's still with yoga, movement, and breathing. And be aware of the company you're keeping. Your heart chakra. Yum. Healing. Take those 15 minutes after the day to cry if you need to. Like I said, get some popcorn, baby. Call me. Get some popcorn. Even if you have to sit by yourself. Because I'm not always available, okay? <laughs> and love yourself and learn how to forgive, okay? And what? The base chakra, right? Your feet, your ground, what you're moving towards. That's limb. Still with yoga, dancing, uh, light exercise, and honor your body. You most definitely need to know who you are and what you care about and what you want here. And accept this change coming in, baby. Accept this change coming in because it's okay. It's okay. I send you love and light always. Cancer, I'm still having the um, the sale going on. So you can catch that if you need it. If you need a, a personal appointment here. Because this is a general reading here. Make sure your communication is positive. So the universe can send you the positive things. Okay? If you out here being negative, that's what you're going to get, boo. Okay? To the loo. Love and light. Have a good day or night, Cancer. Alright, Scorpio. Scorpio. What's up with you? What's up with the what's up with the what's up, boo? The card I have for you is the King of Fire. 
This is also the King of Rides. Okay, he ain't playing no games. King of Rides don't play no games, boo. He don't. He know where he's going. He knows what he wants to create. He's very motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, baby. He know what he want. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision Be a and be a leader. Advise from someone creative here. If you need to reach out, Scorpio, and, and get to those people that make you feel good, that can help you with your communication, that can help you create whatever you want to create, you know, People who can um, <clears throat> help you get to uh, where you need to get to. Boo. You know, hit them up. <laughs> but most definitely make sure your communication is understood. Okay? Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. Okay? Let God... If you want to create something, if you want to speak, if you want to be this leader, if you want to stand up and let everybody know how what you, how you feel or what you want to create, you have to go to God first so God can direct you where you need to go. Before I start speaking, I ask God to direct my words because I'm not in control. I can get up there and just and I know what I'm talking about. But I want to be in one alignment. I want to be walking with God. I want to make sure that my words are going to reach the right person. Regardless of him arguing, because he can be real. He can he can argue with you, boo. He ain't going to play with you. And Scorpio, you don't play. You don't play. But it's time to focus. It's time to get in alignment on what you truly want. And it's time to tell the truth on what you truly want here. And put some action behind them words, boo. Don't say you're going to go out here and start something and you ain't starting it. you just speaking. Mm -hmm. Justice will be served. Some of you are ready to go after a commitment, ready to offer a commitment. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Let the spirit guide you because there could be some mess going on that you don't know about. Hmm. Yeah, that could be some mess. Make sure you're ending your closing chapters, even with your communication. Make sure you're speaking and you're being that leader and you, you know what you want to say to this person or you know where you want to go. You know you you know where you want to take things, okay? Because there's a lot going on here. Don't just be running your mouth. Scorpio. This is a general report, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But don't be just running your mouth just because you want to feel better. Just because you want to say something. Every What do they say? Um I forget that quote, but the man who who just be talking, that's an ignorant fool. That's an ignorant fool, a man who just be yapping his mouth, okay? You defend yourself bravely and successfully cope with all obstacles thanks to your courage. If you're going to be, if you're going to stand up, you can't go out here and say, oh, I'm this type of person, I'm that type of person, but you are not radiating that. People will notice. Trust me. People will notice, Scorpio. Some of you are talking about traveling, but you ain't put in the work for it. Some of you are out here trying to like defend your name, defend what you want, but you ain't putting in the work for it. So make sure your communication is lining up. What did I just say? Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. Okay? Pray about it. Meditate. Take your time and make sure you're being positive. Don't be out here being foolish and driving everywhere and saying everything don't do that to yourself because you will drive yourself or you will talk yourself in the hole yep you got to make a decision you can most definitely be dealing with a libra though okay you are indecisive who and have difficulty making commitments decide and commit in order to find fulfillment what do you want to do who do you want to go after don't be out here juggling two people Cause you'll get caught. Duh. Right? But you need to go within Scorpio and make a sound buying body decision here. Or God will make it for you. That's what I know. 
if you're going to be that leader, speak that into existence. Yeah. Stop fighting against yourself. Believe in yourself here. Yeah, you most definitely need to believe in yourself. You have fear here. Um, You can practice yoga, dancing, light exercise, but you most definitely need to honor your body and know who you are. If you want this happy family, you got to go after it. Oh, let's get your spirit animal. You can't be out here faking the funk. Writing songs and junk. That person will get up and leave eventually. And you juggling here, somebody will get up and leave. Trust me, you. You got your head in the clouds. You're not, you don't want to make a decision here, but you feel like it's like you feel like, oh, I got this person. I got to no, know. You might not. Spirit animal for you, Scorpio. Just let it go, baby. We got the black bear. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Modesty, peace, and benevolence. Okay, we ain't going there. Helps you find a way to communicate with your soul. You need to go within. Who do you believe in? I'm just getting like you just kind of just talking out of your butt. Talk, go within so you can find out what to say. Go within so you can figure out where to go. Go within so you can figure out how to communicate. Go within and ask God so you can know which way and what to say and, and how to apologize and how to take this leadership and how to be the boss. Because you want to be the boss. But you ain't made a decision yet. And you trying to defend something that you... Make sure everybody don't want to court. All right, and most definitely work on your what's that sacral chakra, them dancing, yoga, and remember you matter, you matter. Okay, just because one door closes doesn't mean another one's not going to open. Love and light. I'm always here to help if you like a personal appointment. This is a general read, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Message. <laughs> Leave what does it and have a beautiful day. I love when it comes through. Um, Pisces. Pisces. I can't wait to turn this card over because Pisces, we're sitting in Pisces when it comes to communication. Them dreams are litty right now. It should be. Litty, litty. May I always trust, may I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Let's see. Five of water. Oh, you're sad. You're sad. Things not turning out the way you'd hope. Not seeing the positive in situation. Crying over spilled milk. Okay, Pisces. So you could be dealing with this runner chaser energy, right? You just really don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You could be really upset that things aren't working out the way they're supposed to be working out. But you still got two cups here. Just because these three people, things that could have like failed with all these other things, there's still love here. You still have love. Don't sit and sulk there when when the universe is handing you something else. What did I just say? May I always trust your perfect and holy time and dear Lord. The Lord will send you the right communication. It, Mercury is sitting in Pisces. But Pisces, you're not really a big talker. You can be where you want to be. So I'm guessing like, not even guessing. Let me look here. listen I don't like I don't I don't really understand because it's like like I told you I had a, I had somebody say to me that everything in their life was aligned but they were still like sad that don't make no sense to me that doesn't make sense to me that doesn't make sense to me you have love you have money you have security you have stability why aren't you happy? You have God. You know who God is. You know who the universe is. You have intuition. What could possibly be upsetting you? 
even if okay like even if something like from what i'm seeing even with this person too what i saw with the person it was like even if something failed it's like having two houses right and you lose one house you still got a house like i don't i don't i don't get that kind of stuff but i'm a capricorn so you know i just and i'm trying to empathize with it i'm really trying to empathize with it but i don't it's, it's just like what it says, crying over spilled milk. Just clean it up. Clean it up and pour you another glass, boo. You got enough milk to clean up. I mean, you got enough milk to, to pour another. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because, you know, you could really be going through it. But I don't understand it. I just don't, I don't get it. And it's like, even like with mistakes, right? Maybe, maybe you got caught doing something, right? Let's say you got caught doing something. You didn't want it anyway. You didn't want what you what, what you crying over. I don't understand that. I'm sorry to yell at you. I don't even mean to yell at you. That's just aggravating a little bit. It's just kind of like spoiled. You want your cake and you want to eat it too, look like, Pisces. Mm. Yep. You don't know how to let go. Let it go. You're holding on to the past. Attachment blocks you. Release your fear of losing so you can progress. You're not even really losing. You're not losing anything. Like I said, like even if you were in a relationship, right, and you got caught cheating or something like that, you didn't even really want the relationship. You didn't want to be in it anyway. I think you're just sad because you got caught. Or you're you were the bad person. Spirit like, yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's it. That's it. It's like you're scared of letting go, scared of moving forward. When you already, it's like going out and like planning for a vacation that you didn't even want to take. You didn't want to go on this vacation. You didn't want to go there anyway. And then, you know, God's like, nope, you know, the trip is, it's over. And you're like, oh man, it's over. Everybody's going to, the people that know, they're going to be looking at you like, but You've been complaining about this for years. You you wanted out of something for years. You didn't want this. You, you didn't want to invest in something for years. And now that it's over, you're sad. Mm. I don't understand that. It's like never being satisfied. You're just never going to be satisfied with whatever you have. And that is a terrible soul. Like, it's like no matter what God gives you, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you'll never be happy. That's something you got to deal with within. And it is like around your heart chakra, yam, healing, taking those 15 minutes out, loving yourself and forgiving yourself, forgiving the people who have, who may have hurt you here, but moving forward. Yeah. Could be dealing with the Leo, but just most definitely being positive with yourself and doing what you're supposed to be doing here. Taking the, what, the straps of the horse and moving forward. You got a lot of people around you that's beautiful. You have success here. Enjoy self-fulfillment good health and you will receive help from inter external sources yeah you have people the crazy thing is you have people around you that's very positive and trying to show you a different way you just don't want to take it it's like yeah yeah i would yeah 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 oh yeah 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 you fighting with yourself ain't nobody here there's nobody fighting with him he got his swords up like let's go nobody ain't fighting with this person they don't need to obviously doesn't nobody needs to fight with you you're fighting alone look at this person they're alone sad alone trapped alone they're alone they're by themselves nobody nobody can come and make you happy look at all these people happy and you at home
and you have money, you have stability, you have food, you have water, <laughs> you have clothes, you have a nice blanket, you got a nice hat, you know, you got a nice little belt, little cool socks, you can have them with every name brand that you could think of, you got it all, but you just said, because you can't have it all, all. You can't have this person, that person, this person, that person, that person, this person, this person, that person, that person, this person, that person, that person, those shoes, those shoes, those shoes, those shoes, that bike, this bike, that bike, this bike, her bike, him bike. It's just like, what? Why you, what? That's greedy. Oh, that's greedy. But at the same time, that, 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 that's hard to, that's hard. You know, this is a general reading, so this could be just happening around you. Somebody just don't want to be positive. Somebody don't want to let go. Somebody don't want to release. Somebody just want to be sad. And you know what's crazy, Pisces? You. This is you. That's Pisces energy. And Leo. Oh, yeah. Eh, eh. Oh, yeah. Oh, eh, yeah. Eh. Oh, yeah, eh, eh. honestly, I've come from, and the reason why I, I struggle with understanding, because I'm not going to say every Capricorn would, I feel like every Capricorn would struggle with that. I feel like any Earth sign would struggle with that, trying to understand that. But um, I come from a place where I, I, you know, I had, I lost, and then I gained again. Like, it's like, th that's life. That's life. It's like you're sad over life. Look, you have Koala, 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 whatever. Coca Cola. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm silly. I don't even feel like you laugh with me. But it's kindness, motherhood, calmness, and family. You have so much beauty around you. I cannot deny that. You have so much beauty around you, Pisces. You really do. You just gotta open, gotta open your eyeball. And look and see. I don't even feel like you can't see though. I don't even feel like you. I just, I feel like you may just want some attention. Maybe. Okay. You need to work on your solar plexus chakra, which is bam, yoga, movement, breathing, and be aware of the company you're keeping as well. Enjoy friends and family, share in love with others. And see, when even when I said be aware of the company you're keeping, I feel like the company that you're keeping is positive. It's positive. These people will, you know, they may be like me, like, you know, it's okay. You know, you, you want to drink some of that yak? Look, ooh. <laughs> you want to drink some of that yak? Or you want some of this brown? You want some white? You want some orange juice? What you need? We got some grapes over there. <laughs> You can have it. You can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. It's this is you. Everybody else like. Even your mother, your friends, your friends, your family, everybody like, you can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. And you're <laughs> this could be happening around you, right? I still... I don't... I just I just don't understand. Book an appointment with me. Let me know. Email me. Curse me out. Do whatever you need to do. I'm good, baby. I'm going to be good regardless. But, you know, it's just like... I don't get it. Smile. Go in the mirror and, and smile at yourself. See if that helps. See if that helps. Like, go in the mirror and just sing a song to yourself and smile. Make you some tea. I got some tea. Put a little lemon in there. I got me a little lemon in here. Ooh, it, it tastes so different, too. You know, get you some tea and sit in front of the TV. Or wherever you need to go. Because Pisces, I know you love a couch. I know you love a couch. But anyway, sit, you know, sit down. Drink you some tea. Drink you some wine. Whatever you need. 
I don't necessarily say watch TV because sometimes TV and music can just make you all out of whack. Just sit down with yourself for a second. Take yourself out to eat. Enjoy you. And then see how you feel. Sit down with yourself, even if you have to remove yourself from all this positive, all these positive people and go and go by yourself. Go by yourself. I feel like you've been by yourself, though. But. You know what? Over the weekend, I, I, I didn't want to go around these certain type of people, right? I was struggling with it. I was like, man, I don't like these people, man. I don't want to go around these people, man. Their energy might be all messed up, blah, 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 blah. And I went around them and I had a ball. And the crazy thing is the people that I did not want to interact with, they didn't bother me. And my spirit felt great. I had a great time. Everywhere I went, it was it was certain energies that I did not want to, you know, sit around and I didn't want to talk to that. I, it didn't bother me after I realized they're there. I'm here. Let's just have a good time. And I had a great time. And then I came home and I was happy because I enjoyed myself. I let everything else go. I let it go. And I enjoyed myself. I had to realize I was at a party. <laughs> one at one time. I had to realize I was at a party because I did a lot of things over the weekend. But I had to realize I was at a party. I'm not about to be sitting here sad at no party. It's a 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 party. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And love the time that is spent here on Earth. Because you might not get another tomorrow. Till you. I think that's it, right? Love and light, always. Have a good day or night. Why BK? That's what I heard. Why BK? <laughs> Bye.